Hey guys, making rope is dope, so stick around and I'm going to show you how to make primitive cordage in the field. But stick around till the end of this video because I have a special challenge for you. Alright guys, so I came out of the canyon and up onto this hill because I'm looking for a plant called yucca. And it's most likely going to be growing in the direct sunlight somewhere up here on this hilltop. This plant's going to be perfect for making my cordage because it's fibrous. It has long strands that I could easily twist together. And all we have to do is locate this plant and we're going to be good to go making this cordage. Alright guys, we located the yucca. Now we just got to get some of these leaves off so we're done with phase one and we can move on to phase two which is pounding and preparing these leaves. So all I'm using here is a rock to get these yucca leaves off. And it's relatively easy if I just cut the back spine. So pay attention to that when you're cutting these leaves off. All right guys, so I have the yucca leaves. Now I'm just gonna quickly break them down so I can expose more of the fibrous surface area. So I just quickly use a rock. Notice that our yucca leaf is foaming when I'm breaking it down. That foam is sapping being released from the leaves and that sapping could be used as a soap in a survival situation. Alright guys, to start I just take a single strand and I fold it in half, just like this. Once I fold it in half, I put the end right here inside my teeth and I start to twist. The twist going like this and then wrap. Alright guys, in that short amount of time I created a good three inches of rope there, okay? And you can see, now that I'm getting a little short here on the ends, I only have these two strands left, so what can I do here, okay? What can I do with these two strands? Two options here with the two strands. Option one would be to fold another one in half and fit the V directly inside the other V, like this. Grab. They will both go to their each side, and then you begin twisting again. That's what I'm going to do. Or, you can add one strand on each side and keep twisting. Okay, but then you're managing two. It's a little bit harder for me. I like doing the V on V technology, which is to fold another one in half and simply put it inside, grab, and start twisting. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, so the big question is, what am I going to do with the cordage that we made? Well, I found this water bottle on the trail, so instead of just carrying it back, I'll quickly pass my cordage through. Get it hooked onto this handle. I'll tie it onto my backpack here. I'll do a nice little pull knot so I can get it off quick. And there we go. Water bottle's hooked. And I'm gone. All right, guys. So now you know how to make primitive cordage in the field. So here's my challenge to you. Film yourself in your wilderness areas around your home creating primitive cordage with all natural materials. But make sure you tag me on Facebook or Instagram because I'm going to choose one video as the winner and I have a special gift. So make sure you're following me on Facebook or Instagram. That way I can announce the winner and you can see what this special prize is. Again, I'm Chad Keel with natureconnectionclass.com. Thanks for watching my videos and I'll see you soon.